they'll come and be eating and trying to braid your damn hair with chicken grease all on the damn hand. And I, no, I ain't pay. I didn't pay for the chicken grease to be in my damn braids, first of all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Um, So we just going to get right into this bullshit um if you are subscribed to me i guess you may know that you're currently 38 weeks and so i wanted my hair braided because when i have my baby i'm not gonna want to do nothing to my hair right okay so <clears throat> i decided to usually so usually if i want my hair braided um, I usually go to the Africans you know the African hair braiding salons because I just feel like they just do good to me. The, the people that I usually go to go to just they're like they're professional, they're really quick, their price is not too high, you know. But I just moved May in July I moved, so I had to find somebody else to do my hair. So I found some more Africans to do my hair. Me and Terry, we went to Texas. And so he was like, well, babe, since we we're since we're going to be in Texas, you might as well just find somebody there and then we can just kill two birds and one stone, basically. So, okay, I get to searching and searching on Google. And there's a lot of African hair braiding shops in Texas. But anyway, so this particular place was in Houston. No, y'all, what I'm talking about. This particular place was in Dallas. It's called Elegance, Elegant Hair Braiding. Elegant hair ready. Okay, so I set my appointment for 3 o'clock. I get there, and they tell me, like, and all the damn chairs full. It, it was like, y'all, legit, it was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. it was like seven chairs. All of them hoes full. First of all, all of them are full, and then there's, like, nobody's nowhere near done getting their damn hair done and it was like two like on two people's heads it was like two africans in in you know both their heads which is cool because you know you get done quicker okay whatever boom so they tell me to sit down y'all i didn't get into a damn chair until like 4 30 my appointment was at three strike one Okay, so whenever I do get in the chair, a girl, she come over there, she part in my hair or whatever, you know, she, you know, part my hair. So I'm thinking that this is going to be the girl that's braided my hair. No, I've shown, I've, I've shown, she actually, she, she came over there and she was like, what would you like today? You know, and I show her cause I had a picture and I like, I just wanted, you know, some, I like this, just want, I just wanted bigger braids, you know. Not too big, damn sure not too small because I did not want to be in there long. So, I um I showed the girl the picture. She said, okay, okay, yeah, we can do that, we can do that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, 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 bitch. So, before I get there, you know, when I make my, when I make my appointment on the phone, um, I said, you know, how much do y'all charge for box braids? And they said 150. Okay, now fast forward back. So I'm in the chair, and I'm and then she was like, she asked the lady, she was like, okay, we can do that. She was like, how much weight, how much um for this, for this, or whatever. And like my hair, my real hair is like to my bra strap. And she was like, Well, how long is her hair? So she pointed to how long my hair was or whatever, and she looking at her, and you know, she just sitting there thinking and shit. And she was like, um, 220, 220. 220? I was like, bitch, your price is way too high. You need to cut it. I said 220. And they both looked at me like I wasn't supposed to say shit. Yes, I'm going to say something because you just told me over this damn phone. And I called them three times. Three. Three. And she told me the same thing. I said, oh, I was the person that called you today. Today. And I called you the day before yesterday two times and you told me the same price. You said 150. 150. Y'all. She was like, well, your hair is long and it's gonna take us longer to do it. And the braids need to be longer because your hair is long. 
okay, whatever. I call, I call Terry and I'm like, listen, like, cause I'm mad. Like, and then he was like, well, baby, is that what you want? And I'm like, yeah, but they told me, he was like, baby, is that, if that's what you want, then get it. And I'm like, all right, because I, I'm, I'm this close to having my baby. I just want to get my hair done because I'm not going to want to deal with it. I'm just not. Anyway, that was strike two. Okay. So then the girl, she part my hair. I'm just sitting there and she walks off. So um, if y'all ever been to an African shop, they get the weave and then, you know, they start like, um, you know, strangling it, like comb brushing it or whatever with like a weave comb. <clears throat> then this other woman come over there and she, you know, she just start like she, she, you know, part my hair right here, and she starts. I said, well, can you just do one braid first, and then so you know, so I can see it. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I was gonna do that anyway. And I was like, okay. So I'm looking at it in the mirror, or whatever. Like, no, when I grab it, I'm like, this not, you know, this not. I said, I want it braided. She she did a Senegalese twist, you know, just like like the little plait. She did that. And then she was like, no, no. I said, no, I want braids, like box braids. That's what I want. That's what I showed her. And then I and, and I showed her the picture. So I don't know why the hell she had done done the damn Senegalese twist. I, I did, y'all, I don't know. That's a damn third strike. Like, I just, at this point, I just really wanted my shit done, like, legit like i it was just really getting on my damn nerves by this time so anyway she was like they all laughing in there like huh, i don't know what the fuck they in there saying you know because i hear i don't know but apparently they were laughing because she did a sending lease twist and she was supposed to do a box break whatever so then she started on my hair um she do about seven fucking braids and like she, oh my gosh, she was like probably like the slowest braider that I have ever known in my damn life. Like, like, oh my God, mind you, I got in the chair at four, like 4.30, we'll say 4.30. She did these seven braids and then I look at the clock and it's like six o'clock because Terrio, he texts me, he was like, how you looking? And I'm like, not fucking good. Like, no, like we ain't far at all. Like we ain't far. We, we ain't far. So, um, then the lady with that did with the seven braids, she just stops. And you know, if y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all have ever been to an African hair braiding shop, they will stop and they will eat and they motherfuckers be having supper and they won't tell your ass shit. They'll just walk away and go eat. Then some people... Some people, some damn Africans uh, from the hair braiding shops, they'll, they'll come and be eating and trying to braid your damn hair with chicken grease all on the damn hand. And uh, no, I ain't pay. I didn't pay for the chicken grease to be in my damn braids, first of all. Then another girl, so as the girl eating, she ain't tell me nothing. I'm sitting there 30 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes. Dead ass. I swear to God, I ain't lying. So then another girl, the girl that first started me off, she came over there. When I tell you she was so fucking fast, like she was, she was hitting them hoes. I'm talking about whoop, whoop, whoop. Y'all, by the time she stopped, honey, I was like, okay, we getting somewhere. We Now we getting somewhere. Then she stopped. Then she, she went, she left. And I'm just sitting there like at this time, at this point I'm getting aggravated because I'm like, why the fuck do they keep stopping and starting? Like, stopping and starting. I have never been through this experience in my life. In my life with no, you know, from the African hair braiding shops that I, pre like, have previously gone to. So, I'm just looking, looking, looking. And so, I'm pregnant. I had to piss. So, as I'm walking to the back, I look to my right, like, on the floor, and... They, she was praying. The girl that had left, the, the the fast girl that had left, she she was praying. So I'm like, damn, I feel bad because I'm mad. You know, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, religion and all that, honey. Whoever you serve, I don't care. I'm not gonna disrespect it. You feel me? So I feel bad, but I I still feel like they should say something about like, oh, I'm finna go eat or 
I'm about to go pray something or have a damn sign up there in your, in your shop that say something like that, you know, something paying customer. You need to tell me something. Hell anyway. So then the other girl come back, the slow braider, and she just braid and braid and braid and real slow at 30 minutes. She left again too. So then I'm mad. Then I'm mad. Then I look over there and then she putting the garments that the girl just had on. She putting the garments on and, uh, and then I was like, okay, you're not gonna be mad because if you're gonna pray, if you, like, you know what I'm saying? If you, you're not, you're just not gonna be mad because she's praying. She's praying, you know? Amen and everything to you too, you know? So, just let the girl pray. So then, they told me to move to a different chair. And I'm like, okay. So at this time, what was done in my head was this side, just like literally this side, and not not none of my edges, but like just this side and like th all of this over here wasn't done. <clears throat> okay, so then they tell me to go sit in the chair, in the chair over there. So, I go sit over there. Y'all, yeah, I swear to God, I am not lying. They had me sit there for an hour. So, I'm looking around, and I'm mad as a bitch. I'm pissed. I'm mad. And, like, and they, they knew I was mad because um, before that, I was, I had, when they told me the price, I had, I had, I had went off. I had went the fuck off. I'm moody. I don't care. I'm moody. Like, you shouldn't have fucking told me that it was $150 three times. You know what I'm saying? So I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. So I went off on their ass. So anyway, they knew I was mad. And then you had me. You know what? I think that's why they had my ass sitting there that long because I had done went off on their ass. But that's okay. You know what? It's cool. God don't like ugly, baby. But anyway, so I sit there in, my, in the damn chair for a while. Damn out. And the damn owner, the one that told me is $150 fucking dollars, she said, we'll be with you in just a minute. After a fucking hour. She said, you gonna have two people coming? You got two people coming. I said, all right. And after like 20 minutes, they came over there. And the woman, the little slow braider, she was nice. She was real nice. I wish I would have known her name because she was just talking to me. And she was like, I'm so sorry. You know, we'll be right with you. Um, you know, because the, <sighs> clearly it's just all in the professionalism, bro. Like, I'm your customer, a paying customer. Like, don't have me sitting around if you got three braiders and one head. Somebody need to come over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody need to tend, goddamn, tend to me. Tend to me, honey. Because I'm sitting over here with goddamn a, per, a, a, a goddamn flat iron head and a braided head. You know what I'm saying? Hell, if I didn't have all that, I would have just walked out. But no, nah, honey, I, I need my hair done. I, I need my hair done. So, anyway, they come over there. And, you know, the girl, she doing my hair or whatever. They just doing my hair. And I'm just, I'm I'm literally to the point, I'm mad to the point where I'm just, I'm just zoned out. And I'm just like, like, I ain't got shit to say. I ain't got shit to say to nobody. Then she gonna come over there. She came over there. Um, the woman, the owner, the one fifty, the hundred fifty dollar lady. She gonna say, "Can I get the payment now?" I said, "Um, when my boyfriend get here, you can." First of all, bitch, I'm not paying you until I see my whole head done. Whole head. I ain't finna pay you for half a damn head. Want me to give you half the damn money? I'm not about to do that. You about to get half the damn money if half of my damn head is done. So when my man gets here. And my head is done, then you can get your money. So he takes me, I mean, I takes him and I said, I'm almost done or whatever. And he pull up and um, he come in, sit down 
and the lady the lady she had said like out loud she was like can i get the payment and i heard her and terry looked at me he was like oh she talking to you and i was like she i was like she wants you to pay her because i i was done i was done they were just um you know how they boil your ends and shit i was like she wants to pay her and then he was like oh okay so um after that like they like they were just done or whatever and like i'm telling y'all they ass knew that i was like live it with they ass like like live it like honestly honest to god like i everything in me just wanted to be like tear like just tear their ass off about everything because the customer service sucked the, per the professionalism sucked everything like everything about y'all sucked like yes y'all yes you braided my hair and it and it looks good i don't have no complaints about the braids if y'all want to go get y'all hair braided by elegant hair braiding in dallas texas honey go ahead because they braid your hair but they gonna have your ass sitting there they're gonna be praying they're gonna be eating honey they ain't gonna offer you a damn chicken wing okay nothing but they, they gonna eat theirs but anyway who yeah they had done had me all the way fucked up because listen i'm just saying i'm really just saying though like you just don't do that you know <laughs> maybe maybe it's just me y'all let me know in the comment section if it's just me if it's just me being pregnant honey it, it, did i just take this away over my motherfucking head did i do that did I do that? Because if I did, let me know. And I'll be like, okay, cool. It was me. You feel me? It was me. But until y'all coming down there and tell me that it was, it was me, it was they ass. Okay? It was them. And um, that's really all I had to say. Uh, Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I like my little braids or whatever. They, You know, they are doing them. I hope they stay up. For a long time, got my little bun up there and all that. Um, but yeah, y'all. That was my experience at Elegant Hair Braiding Shop in Dallas, Texas. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.